Do you know what? This is Saturday Night Talk Away on Talk TV and Talk Radio. And I'm just I'm just loving the fact we're coordinated. Do you like the fact we've been I really do. I really do. We I'm, genuinely didn't... I, I, uh... I'm not allowed to look down because people get criticised. <laughs> <laughs> eye line. As the Duke of Edinburgh always said, when you talk to women, always go for the eye line. <laughs> Don't look down. <laughs> um, and we've got our lovely uh, guest co-hosts, who are Candice and Liam. Liam, get off your phone. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm sorry about that. you? I was just checking the afternoon when you mess with He's there on his internet dating. <laughs> uh, I'm not internet dating. Don't get me into trouble, will you? Oh, no, don't do that. He's got a fella. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now we've got a very special guest with us who uh, considers herself a real life Barbie. Ariel, um, I don't know how to pronounce your surname correctly. Is it Dom Dombasal? Is that right, Ariel? <laughs> nearly. Nearly. Oh. Oh, it's yeah. nearly. You're nearly there. It's Ariel Dombas. I love Dalmatians. Um, anyway, uh, so um, so what what got you into Barbie first of all? Well, you know, uh, I when I think of myself as a little girl, there was one a doll that I absolutely adore since I knew her existence is the Barbie doll. And all the other Barbie dolls... Um, Did you have uh, a Cindy? Was, a, was Cindy a thing for you? Because for us, if you didn't have enough money for a Barbie, you had to have a Cindy. And she was brilliant I on know, EastEnders. Cindy I never had. But, you know, I, I, I was living in Mexico, so... And, well, it was in America. And actually, when my first Barbie doll arrived, I was mostly excited. For me, it opened a new world a new world of how, what kind of girl can you be in the future? So I always look at the Barbie like such a feministic doll. And you, and you, you look like Barbie yourself. I mean, it's, it's amazing, really. When did you not, first notice the likeness? Well, the, the thing is, at, at school and all that, they call me the Barbie, but always in a, in a sort of a mean way. Sort of, oh, she's the Barbie, so it's a mean... Uh, uh, she's a light, uh, free, frivolous creature because she looks like a Barbie. And then uh, afterwards, uh, growing up, I, I discovered that after all, being like a Barbie, why not? And so um, after I, I sort of a reconciliation with Barbie and, and thinking it over, I think she gave me so much power because she had all those outfits yeah. um, that will bring the little girls to a dream uh, of the future. And you could be whatever. You could be um, a nurse, or you could be a secretary, or you could be a doctor, or you could be an astronaut. Oh, yeah, she's up to game could... as Barbie since the Barbie I knew when I was a kid. And, uh, and is, am I fair to say that her boobs have, are a bit smaller and her waist is slightly wider now? Because the Barbies oh, I not... had as a kid. Yes, I know she, she has changed, you know. She's changed I a little that... bit, hasn't she, to be a little bit more realistic. Um, I do yes. wonder because she had so much hair. Do you remember thinking, if as a human being you had that much hair on your head? Oh, sorry. <laughs> of course, but you know, oh, of course you love to cut Talking her hair. Oh, and yeah. then you will, be, you will be desperate because the, the hair won't grow again. Yeah, but I know, that was you, it then. You, once, you'd, once you'd made that mistake. And we've got your, your Barbie single. Should we have a little look at that? Is that OK? Stop. Yes, because I, I can't yes, believe you talked about video. <laughs> I will say, I've that listened to this song. Really I've good. listened to it right through, and a proper, it's it's catchy, and I really like it. I like the sound of your voice in the way you sing, yes. it, like you're speaking. I like that. I think it's really clever. Yeah, the way the way you well, sing as if you're speaking. Yeah. <laughs> well, actually, I, I love the song because the song is really profound towards Barbie. I mean, she's eccentric. Don't let people tell you what to do. The only way for us is to be fabulous. Yeah, I mean, that's that, that, can I just say, I live, -like. well, I live at the O2, right? And I realised that it was out this weekend because everybody was going to the cinema that's there in pink men and women and funnily enough my husband had a pink shirt and i said everyone's gonna think you're going watching the the barbie movie so apparently you have to you have to get dressed up for it which i love all stuff like that have you watched the actual movie have you seen it yet no not yet and i'm urging to see it but it it's true that in i i've seen that in all over the places of the world all the little uh girls 
dressed in pink, even to go to the movies is such a venture to look like a Barbie. It's an idealistic, dreamy world. And the pink uh, seems to be the color. It's and fun so and even it's, it's good to see. It's, it represents women and I think it's fantastic. I, there's nothing wrong with Barbie, is there? You think a bit unrealistic that you could look like her, but <laughs> women, women made of plastic. Who'd have thought? Um, anyway, um... well, well, made of plastic. You know, when when people, when I I started doing uh, uh, all kind of uh, films and I directed films and I went, I did concerts and I did so many things, but uh, of course, the Barbie. When they say, "Oh, you're like a Barbie," it means, of course, the the idea of plastic. Mm. Yeah, well, you, well you've you've changed that. You've empowered no, I can, I can, yourself. I can see you've not had any of that done. But um, but Liam, what do you think about Barbie and and whether it's empowering women or just a bit f a bit too kitsch for the modern era? Well, uh, like Danielle said before, I'm glad that it's come to a bit of modern day, and obviously it's not all about being thin and and plastic yeah. and and putting that image out there. But um, Ariel, can I ask, have you ever tried to? Um, change your name by Deepal to Barbie or is it like trademarked and you're not allowed to do that? Oh, oh you mean to change my name? Yeah, to my actual name, Barbie. Ariel is like the little mermaid in Yeah, Walden. Ariel, yeah, it is. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yes. Are you, you're not allowed to change your name to Barbie like because obviously you want to be a Barbie you can doll. Be, you can be Barbie. <laughs> yeah. I don't think it would be very wise to change my name. No, not, not if I'm not mistaken, I'm Barbie. sure that um, I might be wrong here, but I'm pretty sure that Katie Price had Barbie on her list of names for her little girl buddy. Oh, probably yes. Now yeah. nowadays, but you know, before in France, you didn't, you couldn't pick up any name you dream of. It had to be in the calendrier. I don't know about America. But also, but I'm also, sure I'm, also, I don't, I don't want, I don't want to raise an unpleasant subject, but um, but the surname Barbie might be prohibited because of uh, the issue of the Second World War. Uh, the governor of Lyon was called Klaus Barbie. Um, oh, I, think exactly. I've just, I think I've just ruined the well, move. No, however, <laughs> however, what, what we have time... to address here, Ariel, we have to do this because obviously. Andre was like, we're talking about Barbie. However, what he didn't tell you is that he once went, where did you go? You once went to a Barbie, a Louis Vuitton Barbie. Yeah, I did, and I did. Thoroughly I did. enjoyed yourself. Somebody, somebody invited me to go and look at the Louis Vuitton Barbies at Hamley's, the toy shop. And I have to say, they had, I mean, obviously, I'm not interested in either Barbie or Louis Vuitton. But how it was time. But like, they, they'd miniaturised all these bags and the technical skill that it had taken to stitch all this tiny stuff together. Honestly, enthralled me for it's... at least ninety seconds, <laughs> and, uh, and then I well, went for a kebab. Well, actually, actually, you were right to go. Well, uh, Karl Lagerfeld invited me to pose as a Barbie, and I absolutely love the idea that there is that really a sort of a taste that is very American, a bit like Andy Warhol. Yeah, it's it's it's. I mean, it's mythical. Yeah, but it it's a real style. Yeah, I know what you're saying. And, <clears throat> Ariel, we're going to have to say goodbye there, but thank you very much um, for making it all things Barbie. I hope you get to see the movie soon. I'm hoping to go on Monday to watch it. So uh, I'm hoping we'll to not go. I'm at all. hoping to drag him along with the kids. <laughs> I'm hoping. I'm, <laughs> I'm hoping. I'm hoping that I've got a mace spray to attack me <laughs> when, when you attempt to take me. I can imagine you at a Barbie movie. Thank you oh, so you very much it. for that. We've and that's been... all that's going to happen. The Co imagination. <laughs> Coming up, we'll be talking about why Miss Italy Beauty's contest has banned men. All that and more after this. Oh no oh. no. We've got 10 seconds oh. left. So you can call us on 0344 499 1000. Calls just charge your normal rate. I'm a professional. <laughs> Talking about it. First edition, only on Talk TV.